So, this happened, and uh, <laughs> my Twitter account has actually been suspended. Now, I've already made a video about this. Uh, it was like a couple days ago, actually, but I'm making this video as like a sort of like an update sort of thing. If you if you guys want to actually watch my original video, then link is going to be down in the description or comments or whatever. It's going to be somewhere down there. But basically, my Twitter account has been suspended. And you know what? I really wish I could tell you why. <laughs> because I don't I don't even know why and I don't even know if Twitter knows why. So, yeah. So how this all started is that uh, I was about to reply to someone that I had sort of strong feelings about. Well, it wasn't about the person, it was about the topic that they were talking about. So I was going to reply with my opinion or my feeling towards the topic. And sometimes... Twitter doesn't allow me to tweet because sometimes it says, oh, you've already tweeted that when I haven't already tweeted that. So I have to retweet it and then it then allows me. But this time it kept on saying, oh, you, like something r went wrong and you can't tweet right now or something. So I thought, OK, I will just wait a bit. I still couldn't even tweet. So I thought. Okay, I'll just go onto the uh, Twitter website, log in, because I usually use it on my phone and not on the website. So I try to tweet something and it says, you can't perform the action right now. And then it says refresh. So I refresh. Then it says, your account has been suspended and you cannot perform that action. Twitter doesn't even notify me through like direct message or you know the actual Twitter notification system they don't even notify me through that nor do they notify me through emails the only way I found out that my Twitter account was suspended was by a little tiny notification on the website saying your account has been suspended can't perform the action that is all that they give me so then I go through my sort of account information and I, I, go, th I go to the security part because maybe, just maybe, my account was locked out because there was probably some suspicious activity going on in my account somehow. So I thought, okay, I'll go to my security section and enable two-factor authentication. I don't know why I didn't have that on in the first place. I should have, but I tries to turn it on then it says oops something went wrong so then I tried going in other places in my settings oops something went wrong again so I thought what what can I do so then I tried to sort of look up on how to unsuspend my account and I did not realize that there was like a form, an online form that you can fill out. So I tried to find that. It took me a long time to actually try and find that, but I eventually found the form. So I eventually filed an appeal to unsuspend my account because, uh, well, obviously, one, I don't know what I did, and two, I don't, I don't feel like I did anything to get to receive this suspension. So then I filed the appeal and it's lovely to see that I get a email from Twitter support to say we have received your appeal and we will look at your account carefully to see uh, if it, how it broke Twitter rules and stuff like that. So then, okay, fine, I got that email. So I will wait a bit for them to email me back to tell me a response. I waited a very long time no response so I thought okay maybe something went wrong and I filed another appeal and well to be fair I thought I couldn't submit another appeal because 
this screen was displayed to me when I tried to uh, file another appeal, but lo and behold, there was like another tab right next to it, which I could just, you know, click on and I was able to file an another appeal, but I didn't think of that at the time. So, so then I filed another appeal and uh, of course, Twitter support did email me back saying, oh, we have received your... Uh, received your second report so we'll add it to the case that is already ongoing and from that time I've heard zero response from them through email but now I have actually got a sort of message from Twitter themselves when I actually log into my account on Twitter saying you know what I'll read it your account is permanently suspended. After careful review, we were determined your account broke the Twitter r r rules. Okay, uh, please tell me what Twitter rules I broke, please. Your account is permanently in read-only mode, which means you can't tweet, retweet, or like content. You won't be able to create a new... Uh, you won't be able to create... Wait, hang on. I... I just read this part right now. You won't be able to create new accounts. Even though I've already created a new account, so... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> if you think we got this wrong, you can submit an appeal. The only missing piece of information there is the why and what rules I broke. If Twitter can't even tell me what br what rules I broke and why, what's to stop me from break breaking those rules again on my new Twitter account? There's nothing stopping me. So, this is my problem right now. Because I don't want to get treated the exact same on my new Twitter account because I don't know what rules I broke and how. So, this is the biggest problem with these sort of massive corporations, is that they do not communicate clearly. They say, oh, you've done this, so we're going to do this to you. We're not going to even say why, because you don't deserve that. You've done this, you somehow done this, and we're just going to, like, beat you off, because we feel like it. That's how it feels like. We're going to boot you off. We're going to boot you off the platform because we feel like it. Now, to be fair, I honestly don't care that I got suspended. I only care about why and what I did to get suspended. And because I've been given no information as to why or how, it's really... <laughs> it's frustrating not knowing why or how. And unlike YouTube... Twitter just terminates you immediately. No warning. Unlike YouTube, where it actually gives you a warning. Well, as far as I know anyway. It gives you a warning before they terminate your channel. Then again, some channels get terminated immediately. So, I'm hoping that my channel is not next. Because I've actually put a lot of work into this channel. So, I really hope that my channel does not get terminated anytime soon. But yeah, my Twitter account, I don't care. I've already created another Twitter account. I mean, my my Twitter account was Volts Games, but my new tw Twitter account, well, is actually the exact same, just with an extra Z. So I just hope that the same treatment doesn't get um, sent to my new Twitter account for whatever reason, and that my... YouTube account stays as it is. Really, really hoping that. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't help that, um, you know what? I'm not going to say it because uh, there's some new, new stuff happening with Twitter that I'm not going to talk about because uh, if I do talk about it, it could also boot me off of YouTube. So if you know exactly what I'm talking about, in regards to Twitter, the new thing that's happening, then I'm glad you know, because I'm not going to talk about it, 
because I do not want to get booted off anytime soon. So I just wanted to make this video to <laughs> highlight how ridiculous miscommunication and lack of transparency is. And it's also a massive problem with YouTube as well when it comes to like age restriction and demonetization. I don't talk about that stuff that much because I'm not fully sort of confident or educated that much in that sort of department. So I don't I don't like to talk about something if I'm not fully educated or confident about it. But all I know is that YouTube is not very well transparent with their creators and it's so disheartening to know that your favorite creators are getting mixed up in the broken algorithm and getting mistreated because of the bots because of oh they saw this thing in the video so age restrict that even though it's not it's not it's it's a game I mean, if it was like, say, actual violence in real life, then yes, age restriction is more than welcome because it's very fitting. But when it comes to video games, age restriction, depending on the themes and what is shown, maybe, but the way other YouTubers uh, Let's Players, uh, when they upload their videos on these video games and, s like, one of them gets age-restricted, but the others do not. It just begs the question, what is going on behind the scenes? But I'm just going to leave it there because I, I don't want to go too much into depth about that stuff. If you want to find out more about that stuff, go watch like Corey Kenshin or John Wolf or Jack Sky really because they've sort of covered those topics in a little bit more detail and again I don't want to be booted off because how do I know if I'm going to get booted off? I could easily just say the wrong thing and the algorithm could just pick it up and say oh boot him off like it could be just that easy, and I don't want that to happen. I mean, I still don't know how my Twitter account got suspended. It's such a low following. I probably had like 20 to 30 followers, not even a huge following. And they picked me out to get suspended. Why? I will never know why. Because Twitter won't tell me. Probably because they don't know themselves. But they should know. Because they suspended me for a reason or maybe it's just a bot but no but no because of that careful review that i read out it means someone actually manually reviewed my twitter account and apparently something i said broke the rules but you can't even tell me what how did i want to do with that what can i do with that nothing so yeah, that's going to be the end of my rant for this uh, situation. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I hope you enjoyed, I guess. Um, I just I found this situation frustrating, but also ridiculously f hilarious. Because... <laughs> there's nothing I can do, really. They can't give me a straight answer. And I tried. But thanks for watching everyone. And I shall see you guys. Uh, well. Soon. Goodbye everyone.